In the past, the only way that you could send a Mobi file to a Kindle was through a couple of processes that Amazon had. However, though, just recently, Amazon announced that you can now send EPUB files to someone's Kindle. And also, very soon, they're gonna take away the ability to do Mobi. So, this has put a lot of authors into a bit of a pickle because right now, it's important for us to learn how to send EPUB files to a Kindle, especially since they're gonna take away the ability to do that with Mobi files. Now currently, there are three ways in which you can send an EPUB file to a Kindle. And in this video, I'm gonna show you those as well as the one I recommend. That way, when you're done watching this video, you'll be able to effectively and efficiently send EPUB files to a Kindle and be ahead of the curve so that when Amazon kills off the Mobi, you're good to go. But before I get into that, if you haven't clicked the subscribe button, go ahead and hit that, as well as the little bell icon to be notified when my next video on book marketing or anything dealing with the author community comes out. And with that, let's begin. Okay, so when it comes to sending an EPUB file to a Kindle, there are three ways you can do this. Method one, emailing the EPUB to your Kindle. Method two, using the free send to Kindle desktop tool, which Amazon says will work for EPUB by end of 2022. And method three, using the Amazon smartphone app. Now that third one, I totally do not recommend because the problem with the app is that it's going to change up the book based off of which smartphone the person is using. And that's a lot of different steps. So let's start with the first method, emailing your EPUB file to a Kindle. In order to do this, all you're gonna need is the specific email address of that Kindle device and an EPUB file. For those of you who use Atticus for formatting your books, this will be simple because while Atticus has other file formats you can export in, its main one for an ebook is EPUB. Now, if you don't know your Kindle specific email address, no problem. Every Kindle has a specific email address attached to it. All we need to do is just locate that and you should be good to go. To do this, follow these steps. First, log into your Amazon account. Go under account and lists and select content and devices. Next, select the devices tab. After that, find your device in the list of devices and click on it. This should bring up a page where you can see the Kindle email address listed. It will be one that ends in at kindle.com. You can now copy that email and save it for later. Okay, now that we have the email address, just open up an email, put in the Kindle email address, and attach the EPUB file to it. There is no need to put a subject line or any content in the body. Once you send that, you should get an email verification from Amazon. Simply open that up and hit the verify button. Then the next time you open your Kindle and it syncs, your book will be sitting right there. Now, some important extra information on this is that you can send 25 attachments in one email at a time, the total email file size can't be greater than 50 megabytes. If you need to, you can compress the file into a zip file and Amazon will unzip it. And finally, there are other file types you can send instead of EPUB. However, these other types generally don't look good or have problems. So it is best to just use EPUB for this. Okay, the next method to sending a EPUB file to a Kindle is to use Amazon's free tool called Send to Kindle. However, like I said, currently this doesn't work for EPUB, but they are coming out with it by the end of 2022. So in anticipation for this, let's go ahead and take a look at how we can do that. If you own a PC or a Mac, you can download the Send to Kindle desktop app using this link below. After you've installed the application, it will ask you to link it with your account. Simply follow the prompts that they give you, and within seconds, you can link your Kindle account. Once the account is linked, you simply drag and drop the EPUB file to send to the Kindle app. And voila, your ebook will soon be available on your Kindle. While this may be the easiest, especially for you avid reader types or ARC readers, like I said, this won't be available for EPUB until later in 2022. Another thing about this process is that you can use it to send files via the following file formats, Microsoft Word, PDF, text, images, RTF, and HTML. But again, I don't recommend using those because the problem is, is that Amazon might kind of mess or distort your book. The best way to handle it is EPUB, um, especially when they get that working and later in 2022. Also too, I'll be sure to make sure to put in the comment section, okay, right at the top, any information that updates, especially when Amazon gets that working. So if you see this video later on after it's been published, go ahead and check there to see if the update's there, and then you'll know you can use this process. 
And the final third method is using the iOS app or the Android app. Now, like I said before, this is going to be very different depending on which phone you're gonna use. And also there's been a lot of problems with transferring files this method, whether it's EPUB, Mobi, or any of those other file formats, people have complained about this process. So I do not recommend using it and instead looking at number one or number two, especially as number two comes out later this year. And with that, I'm Dave Chesson of Kindlepreneur, hoping this helps you guys get your books on the devices you want and so that you can read more or get them out to your readers. Thanks again and cheers.